Hey guys, so it's Wednesday on the flip side and instead of making a business life type video, this month I decided, or this week, I decided to go with a more girly video, so I am doing my fall favorites. Disclaimer, I am not in any way a beauty guru, um, I'm just a huge girly girl and I wanted to do something different this week. So here you go. My first fall favorite is a candle, and I don't know if it's still in stores, but I got it last year, and it's, um, Mainstay, I think it's Walmart, I don't know, I didn't get it, someone else got it for me, but it's called Mulled Cider. I really like this scent, um, it's pretty much what it sounds like, it smells like apples and autumn in every sense of the word. So, I really like that smell. If it's still in stores, you should go get it. Next, I have another scent. Um, this is an air freshener though, it's not a candle. And I apologize, it has a clearance sticker on it because I'm cheap and I didn't want to buy it full price. But I have it now and it's by Glade and it's one of their fall air fresheners. Um, their Sage and Thyme Market one. And it's supposed to smell like herbs, but it just smells like Christmas trees to me. And I love Christmas trees. I have another Glade air freshener from Christmas two years ago that's Fraser fur or something. And I still have it and I'm like using it constantly. So I, I wanted something new and I have this. I like it. I also have another one of their scents back there. Um, it's supposed to be a fall scent too. Not sure how I feel about it yet. It's their library scent. It's supposed to smell like oak and leather. Um, it's a nice smell, I just don't... You know. The next fall favorite is um, something I just bought at Target. It's kind of, it's not really a, it's more of a clothing item, well, it's shoes. Um, I've really been wanting a pair of ankle boots for a really long time. And I saw these and I kept looking at them Finally, I got them. Um, so these are from Target. Um, let me zip up the zipper. Yeah. Um, but they're just black boots, and they look huge in this picture. But I'm only a size six, so I don't know. But I really like these. Um, they're really comfortable. At first, I had a little bit of a problem breaking them in, but now they're fine. Next fall favorite is a shampoo, and it's by Lush. Um, it's one of their shampoo bars, and I just got a Lush in my town, and I'm like obsessed. Um, it's definitely a fall smell. It's their shampoo bar called New, and it's like a cinnamon and clove smell. And I've only used it twice or so, so far. But it's supposed to stimulate new hair growth. I have really thin hair, so. I was looking for something kind of in that realm, but so far I'm really liking it. It makes my heart hair really soft and smells really good and it lathers really easily. I didn't expect it to, but if you just kind of like, it tells you to like rub it down your hair a couple times and it just like lathers up really quickly. It's not even that expensive. I think it was $11 with tax, not with tax. Definitely like this. My next fall favorite is a nail polish and it is by the brand I'm not sure earlier, Zoya. So um, these colors are Freya and Peyton. Um, I really like this uh, brand because it's um, a vegan brand that doesn't test on animals and they also come in like amazing colors, kind of like Essie. So I saw these in at Ulta, and I'm pretty sure they still sell them. So, um, I'm not wearing them right now, but I really like this color. Next I have a lip color, and I actually just bought this yesterday, so it hasn't, well yeah, it's been fall. But I read on Tumblr that this color had like incredible, ridiculous staying power, so I went out and bought it just to try it, and I had it on last night, forgot I was wearing it. I have to take it off with makeup remover later. Um, so 
so that was, and then I'm wearing it today, and I applied this probably like two hours ago, so I'm pretty impressed so far, um, but this is, it's by Maybelline, it's their 24 hour super stay, sorry you can't really see it that well, it's shiny, and this color is all day cherry, so this isn't like phenomenal so far. And the directions are kind of weird. You have to put on the color first and then wait until it dries completely and then put on the balm. Um, some people didn't do it and have problems with it, but if you do it the correct way, then it'll look good. And then my next fall favorite is another kind of lip color. It's a chapstick by Burt's Bees. It's a lip shimmer um, in rhubarb. And it's basically a chapstick that's tinted. Um, I really like Burt Bees chapsticks because I like the little tingly feeling from the... It has peppermint oil in it, so I'm assuming that's what it's from. But yeah. Um, I also have it in champagne and watermelon, but rhubarb's my favorite because I'm more of a, you know, classic red lip type of person when I'm going out. And my last fall favorite, I actually don't have on me right now. It's back in my dorm room, but it's, and I will leave like a little picture right here. Um, it's by the author Shinji Moon, and it's called The Anatomy of Being. I just picked this book up last month, I, yeah, last month, and my friend read a couple of pages of it and immediately went and got it on Amazon and had it ordered, shipped to her. And then her mom started reading it. Um, it's incredible. I had it recommended to me by somebody. She's a 19 year old, or she was at the time she wrote it, author. And she writes poetry. And I just like, <laughs> that's the favorite source. I read a couple of pages online and she's just incredible. I'm not usually into poetry, but it's, it's really good. So you should definitely go check that out and buy it because she deserves a ton of recognition. She's like the best poet I've read in a really long time. Definitely go do that. And I feel like it's really suitable for fall. I don't know why. It just feels like it. Some things just do that. That's it for my fall favorites. Um, as you can tell, I'm living in Florida in the fall, so it's really hard to dress with like boots and a scarf because it's really hot sometimes, but um, I work for a women's magazine at my college writing articles every week, and I recently wrote, wrote an article, um, it comes out today I'm pretty sure, called Florida Fall Fashion, or Fall Fashion in Florida, I forget. <laughs> so you should check that out if you're living in this sweltering climate this fall. Um, I just give some tips, you know, for incorporating some of your summer wardrobe into your fall wardrobe and, you know, doing that basically without sweating to death or getting a heat stroke. So check it out. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you on the flip side, guys.